Dun 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 What up Terminator fans, this is Casemus Prime here, aka Terminator Unit T1100, back at you with my very first two Terminator film reviews. Today we're covering Terminator 2 Judgment Day and Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. Um, I got these some um, while ago. I got Terminator 2 a while ago, and I got this on Sunday. Now, um, some of you are wondering why I didn't review this and the Skids and Mudflap ice cream truck a few days ago. Well, for one reason, I was just practicing with Skids and Mudflap, and this one I wanted to watch a little bit of. So let's start off with the new stuff. Let's review my personal favorite of my um, the weakest of the three so far. Terminator 3: Rise of the Machines. This was the last of the three of the four Terminator films to feature Arnold Schwarzenegger before he became the governor of California. And the only reason I have these two, but I don't have number one, is because I don't really like number one all that much. Anyway, um, you will notice that mine's a little bit scuffed up. It's because when I was taking off the little sticker ring on the top, I accidentally ripped off some of the label and it also applied up here, but other than that, probably noticeable. Um, um, the reflection right there in the glasses, you get a picture of half of the TX, half human, half endoskeleton. And on the other side, you get his eye of the end of his regular endoskeleton. You got a nice picture of Arnold in the back here. You get Arnold carrying the coffin. I don't know why. And this one actually does have um, special features, um, commentaries, and video game and movie trailers. And now there's one. Thing I don't really like about this, but it says it's rated R for strong sci-fi violence and action, language, and brief nudity. And it says it right there on the back. Let's see if I can get that in full frame. Whereas on Terminator 2, it's only rated R for strong sci-fi action, violence, and for language. Although if you watch Terminator 2, you know some of um, Robert Patrick's butt crack is shown. Wrong rating. More importantly, let's go ahead and crack this open. Again, no inserts, but we do get a nice little disc of the um, T-800, if I'm correct, with a couple of other endoskeletons behind him. Um, now for T-2, with Judgment Day, which is my personal favorite, and Terminator 3, if I'm correct, is the only one of the three Terminator films to get a collector's edition. This is the Extreme Edition of the film, which is one of the two final releases. Right there on the cover, you get a picture of the T-800 endoskeleton. And on each side, we get the, the name of the movie, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. And on the back, here we get a picture of Arnold, as well as the special features on both discs. Um, and when you slide off the top, on the cover, you get a picture of Arnold. On the back, same artwork. But this, again, that was from tape, pulling it off. But, hardly noticeable. Open it up. Um, the first disc, just like the original one, has a picture of um, Arnold with a right a red eye on one of his pupils. And the same, and the second disc is just like the first one, the T-800 endoskeleton. Um, now, of these two films, you're probably thinking, which one do I prefer? Uh, Judgment Day kind of takes the cake. Because it's my personal favorite, and I really love Judgment Day a lot more than um, Rise of the Machines. But I'm just seeing this for the first time. Um, so, my next review for today will be of the Skids and Mudflap ice cream truck, so be expecting that review soon. Alright, later guys, I'm out of here.